In the diagram below, BC connects points B and C on the congruent sides of isosceles triangle ADE, such that triangle ABC is isosceles with vertex angle A. So angle A is the vertex of both triangle ABC and triangle ADE, and um, both triangles share this angle. Side length AB is congruent to side length AC, as the... Uh, as a description is telling us. And we also recognize that the um, side length AD is going to be congruent to side length AE. So these two side lengths are also going to be the same. So because of this, the, um, this isosceles triangle or the two isosceles triangles are going to be similar. How do we know that they are going to be similar? Well, we can talk, we can um, describe the sides as being proportional to one another because we don't know what the length of AB or AC is. Let's say if we call that N, uh, therefore AC must also be N. We don't know what the side length of AD is. Let's call that M. And we don't know what the side length of AE is. That also has to be M because they're isosceles. So the ratio of the small triangle to the large triangle right, of the side lengths on the left must equal to the ratio of the side lengths on the right. And both triangles share angle A. So these two triangles are going to be similar based on side angle side similarity. Anyway, this is to justify what we're about to do. So what are we about to do? Well, we know that AB is equal to 10, right? So I want to get rid of these markings here. I know that AB is equal to 10. BD is equal to 5, DE is equal to 12, and we're asked to find out what BC is. So let's call that X. So what has to be true is 10, which is side length AB, over AD, which is side length 15, right? So the smaller triangle, that leg, over the larger triangle, this leg is going to be 10 fifteenths or two thirds. So that means all the different sides, all the corresponding sides will have the same proportion. So therefore I can say that this is also equivalent to x over 12. So I'm going to cross multiply. So x will equal to 12 times two thirds. I know that three goes into 12 four times. So x is equal to 8. So therefore bc is equal to 8. And that's option 3.